Debut Union Cats. No, 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 not the one you think about. <clears throat> Today we're talking about Cats and Pete Soper. This is a movie that was on Amazon, and today we're talking about it. So Cats and Pete Stopia is a movie, it's an animated movie that is meant for, of course, younger audiences. This is about these cats that live in an apartment building, basically. It is very, very like Seiko F of Pets. Pets, but again, this movie was basically made for China. Essentially, it was made for, you know, the, chi the China. But then they said, you know what? Next year, let's double it and bring it over. And, oh, great. The dubbing is so bad. Okay. And yeah, movies like Kung Pao that make fun of dubs. Okay, Kung Pao, for example, he said, oh, but you like Kung Pao, but you don't like this movie. Kung Pao was making fun of dubs. Okay, they were making fun of dubs in Kung Pao. Okay, <laughs> that's the whole point. They're making fun of it. But this movie, the dubbing is just that bad. It's just that bad. Bad. And... Other than the dark, the animation's good, and the story is pretty dark for a family movie. Where you get related to the storyline, how this guy wants to create molds out of animals, and basically tries to kill them. Where they commend them for doing that, but a kid might get traumatized by that. You know, but, but people will say, but picture... But I find the people who are criticizing the movie for that, uh, but then the same same time they play movies like Up and Toy Story 3, who are having some dark plot themes, darker plot tones as well. Well, it is uh, completely stupid. But again, that's your average Pixar fanboy logic. Only Pixar can have dark plot lines because it's Pixar and it can be different. Which I think is completely stupid that Pixar you know, can only have dark plot lines because it's dumb. There's lots of animated movies that are made for all audiences that have darker plot lines that are made in a family-friendly tone. Some of, some of DreamWorks movies do that as well. Yeah, they may not be that great, but they do it too. Same thing, of, same thing with a few of Bruce Guy's movies as well do that as well. The, and there's a lot of other, you know, anime movies that have much darker story lines and a lot of other... You know, direct to DVD, and even the, and of course Disney movies as well. A lot of Disney movies have a bit darker storylines. Look at let's look at the Lion King. The Lion King has a pretty dark storyline if you really think about it. About it, yeah, it becomes happy ever after at the end. But Lion King really has a very dark and you no know, darker storyline compared to most animated movies. Okay. Okay, when most animated movies are all happy, happy, as well. Same thing with several of the uh, 90s Disney movies are pretty dark. But I think the thing that docks the most point about the movie is the dub. The dub is just so horrible. It's so horrendous. Okay. Some people said, well, a lot of people said the dub ruined it for the, ruined the movie for it. I didn't really completely ruin the movie for me. But the dub was very, very bad. So if you want to watch this movie, you can. It's free if you. It's free on Amazon Prime. Prime, but unless you want to watch something, unless you want to watch it for the animation, which is pretty good. I don't think this. Is, uh, and if you want to watch this just for the story, one which is a bit very typical, which is a spin on modern animation movies, was mostly about you know war, you know or something like that. It's more about a father son relationship. That's what this movie is really about. It's more about the father-son aspect to the relationship in this movie. The, so, and yeah, that's basically about this movie. Goodbye.